I have a secret. I'm a little bit stupid. Not stupid enough to hamper anything I do, but just that right amount of stupid that allows you to do some tremendously unwise things. How's it going guys, guys and happy pals? I'm Alice in Wonder One and your favorite QE trans girl, and this week I have done something so dumb, so outrageous, that it may well blow your mind. And the best part, it is just crazy enough that it might even work. Lots of YouTubers joke about committing tax fraud, but I'm not funny. So I don't make jokes. I assume by now that you've read the title, so let's cut to the chase. Taxes. Does anyone like taxes? No. I don't want to pay for that child to get hospital treatment. I don't want that homeless man to have a house. F*** you if you're poor. I'm evil. Tax fraud is quite possibly the most evil crime in the entire world. At least, that is, if your government is justified in what they do with your taxes. Well, right now, the Conservatives are in power in New Zealand, and while I'm not a political person and I will not go into politics on my channel, suffice to say, not a fan of their plans. Which obviously gives me a moral pass to commit guilty free tax fraud. Get this. I managed to write my bottom surgery off against my taxes and with good reason. It is a crazy situation and trust me you're going to want to hear all of it so stick around because this may well become translegendary. That was a terrible f***ing pun Alice. We'll get into all the whys and hows shortly but first. What is tax? Well, this is extremely boring, so I'm gonna spice up this explanation by giving my friend here a spray bottle, which they're going to use every time I say a boring word. When you... F when you make income, the government is entitled to a percentage in order to sustain itself and the area you live in. In New Zealand, if you're employed, your employer already takes care of all that for you and you only receive your pay after tax. However, I now run a budding YouTube business and have started to make a small trickle of income from it. <laughs> Thank you so much, by the way. If you'd like to add to it, you can join my channel and become a commissioned officer in my queer army. But because I don't have an employer to manage my accounts for me, that means I have to determine and pay my own taxes. Considering I already have a full-time office job, this basically means that any income I make from YouTube is additional and needs to be taxed at around 30%. What this means is that for every $10 that I make, I need to give the government back $3. Whew, here we go. You can f*** off now. And so then we venture forth into the land of business expenses. Which will then lead into the sheer scope of my genius. Please bear with me, I will try to make the math fun. You only get taxed on your profits. You see, when you make income, the total money that goes into your account, we call it gross income. This is also gross income, but in a more literal sense. To figure out your profit, you need to deduct all of your expenses. For example, if I'm building a sex dungeon and I'm selling it for $700, but it cost me $300 in planks, nails, vibrators, and robots to build, I'm actually only making $400. We call this your net income, or profit, and that's what you're taxed based upon. You only pay profit on the $400, not the $700. That's a very simple explanation of it. What this does, of course, is it encourages businesses to reinvest in the economy by way of spending more money. Make more expenses so that they aren't giving away as much money to tax. And I fell for this because I am extremely open to suggestion. One time I got pulled over and the police officer asked for my license, I gave it to him and then drove away. It did not get me out of the DUI charge. But to put it simply, we want to make purchases that will count against our taxes. For me and YouTube, that's anything that relates to my content. For example, cameras, props, human trafficking. Say I make $6,000 of income. I can either do nothing and pay $2,000 in tax, or I can make $6,000 of business expenses and pay no tax. In a roundabout way, it's actually almost a 30% discount on business expenses because no matter what happened, I was always gonna lose that $2,000. So this $6,000 expense is actually only giving away $4,000. Follow me so far? Good. So how the flying f have I managed this, you may ask? Well. It's time for big brain mode. Allow me to explain to you my reasons. To start with, I'm fucking insane. In this meme, I was placed in chaotic neutral, but then Yuko put me into chaotic evil. But the truth is, I am just chaotic chaos. I am chaos for the sake of chaos. I wanted to see what would happen. And this is where it gets really interesting. On September the 19th of 2023, I got gender reassignment surgery. This was a huge cost to me, and a lot of the motive behind the operation was documenting it for you, my audience. I've now made numerous videos regarding my surgery, but these two are the most successful. My original has almost 100,000 views and my second is at 50,000. The impact they had on my channel and subsequently my online business is immense. 
but complicated. I can easily see these metrics and say with evidence that I made a not insignificant amount of revenue from these videos, not to mention the subscriber game, but there's more to it. Think about the people that clicked on this video and then subsequently got recommendations for other videos of mine and they may have then watched those videos and then subscribed. And now all of a sudden they're getting recommended lots of my videos. Those poor f***ing souls. Though the aforementioned new subscriber can be more or less attributed to this publicity, it does not show in this metric. So what I'm saying is that there is a huge amount of unmeasurable growth that happened because of these videos. I would estimate that I gained over 5,000 subscribers from them. That is a huge number. And remember, Remember, subscribers affect my income bottom line, so that is a tangible benefit to my business. That's not even to mention the PR effects. Because of my willingness to go through all of this on video and share my thoughts and emotions with you, the viewer, my reputation and closeness with my audience has been immeasurably improved. We are ride or die. This is a huge benefit. My followers are more hardcore than ever. But wait. There's more. I have more reasons I might consider this surgery a business expense. Let's get into the nitty gritty of actual income. Cold. Hard. Cash. You see, a long time ago when my channel was still fairly new, I told all of you about my bottom surgery and that at the time I was struggling to afford it. I was getting extremely stressed and you all helped me out tremendously. I've never been so grateful for anything in my entire life. I've never experienced being on the receiving end of such violent kindness. You made donations through my Buy Me A Coffee through which I raised seven or eight thousand dollars last year. It was a huge help and it classifies as income. Income I would not have gotten had I not reached out and asked for help on my YouTube channel. That's right, there is already a return on investment and I hadn't even had surgery yet. But there's more. Later on, I enabled memberships on my YouTube channel and I know for a fact that those increased after my surgery. And more. In April this year, I went batsh insane. I lost a bet with my audience by losing the halftime show. And on your insistence, I swallowed my pride and wore a cow -kini. It was the most humiliating thing I've ever experienced. I ate grass on the worldwide internet. But more importantly, it was a temporary OnlyFans gig. The photos were up for only a week and then the OnlyFans was gone. Or at least mostly gone. There's still a photo of my gigantic ginger pussy on there. But what I'm saying is that in one week, I made about 4,500 New Zealand dollars money that I would not have been able to make had it not been for my bottom surgery. Even setting aside the matter of confidence in my body, I would not have been able to fit in the Kalkini before, not to mention it would have been inappropriate and too revealing, potentially damaging for the future of my channel. At the end of the day, my quest to get bottom surgery and record it all for you, my audience, resulted in my YouTube channel dreams becoming a reality. This is first and foremost a passion project for me, and it always will be, but my bottom surgery actually made this a feasible future business opportunity for me. I hate all this corporate talk, but as someone that's trying to make YouTube my full-time occupation, I can't afford to look away from these opportunities. Through that surgery, I made thousands of dollars in crowdfunding for the operation. I made thousands through being able to actually launch an OnlyFans profile. I made thousands through my strength and reputation on the internet and I potentially gained a future for my YouTube channel. Not just as a passion project, but as a business and a job. Because of that and because I got this surgery with the intent of documenting it, I feel confident in saying that my operation was a business expense. My vagina? Just a cost of doing business, baby. My advice to aspiring YouTubers? Easy. Get a vagina. Cis man? Too bad. Get a vagina. Trans man? Sorry. So, there's my reasoning of why. That's why I did what I did. But, how did I do it? Well, that's an excellent question. All of the benefits I've just told you about are tangible, but also it goes without saying that there are personal benefits too. Because of that, I can't claim the full amount. And in fact, I think even half would be ridiculous. I can only claim the percentage of my operation that was used for business. And this is where I have to be a little conservative. Shoot me, please. Long story short, 20%. I think 20% of this cost of being a business expense is a pretty reasonable claim. And so that's what I did. I put my documents together, I ran the numbers, and I submitted those numbers to the Inland Revenue Department for my 2024 tax year. I am actually f***ing insane. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if that's your flavor of chaos because I'm well known for taking risks. So to summarize for my 2024 tax year, I declared my vagina a business expense and claimed $5,000 of the operation cost against my income tax. That's f***ing right. Factor in all the math and that means, drum roll please, for the 2024 New Zealand tax year, I owe Inland Revenue a total of 
negative two dollars and eight cents. So many YouTubers joke about committing tax fraud, but it seems that I am the only one woman enough to actually f***ing go and do it. Pussies. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other YouTubers that have committed tax fraud. Except Jimmy Carr. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends because it is f***ing hilarious. Okay, if we're being strictly fair, it's not really tax fraud. If anything, if it comes back to me, it's more like a tax mistake. And also to be fair, I only claimed 20% of my vagina as a business expense. But think of it this way. If you're in bed with me, the first inch, strictly business. Speaking of, I believe I had business with your dad last night. And actually, if I'm being even more fair, I didn't really declare my vagina as a business expense. I mean, I mean, I did do this. Legally speaking, this video is a joke. But I didn't really buy a vagina per se. I actually bought an operation and said operation is what I'm declaring a business expense. Uh, it's a technicality though. And saying that I declared my vagina a business expense is way funnier, forgive me. Now to address the concerns I foresee coming up in the comments. Does this make me a criminal? No, but the human trafficking definitely does. So it's kind of a moot point. And let's not even get started with the war crimes. Am I stupid? Yes. I am fully aware that posting this video on the internet will most likely spark an investigation by Inland Revenue. So to those of you from Inland Revenue watching this video with a dossier in one hand and a big red cock in the other, I would like to say take a look at your numbers. I'm sure you will find everything in order. Nothing is amiss. But if by chance everything is not in order, I am fully prepared to pay back the taxes and any fine that's given. Out of my own pocket, not from that of my supporters. I am not a criminal. I am not a crook. Let it be known, I didn't do this out of greed. I didn't do it for the clout. I did it for the meme.